Hey everybody, Anne here, and you know what? I think it's time for another DIY project. Today, I am going to turn all of this into an awesome mini washing machine. Yep, you heard that right. I've got a plunger, I've got a heavy plate, I got a clothesline, and some clothespins, and, well, there's a brush underneath there. And I have three tubs, but I don't know if I'm gonna use all three of them. So, let's get started, I know. You probably think I'm crazy. You know what I've always said, we all got a little crazy in us. Let's go. Okay, the first thing that has to happen is a bunch of holes need to be drilled into this here plunger with this here drill bit thingy. So, here we go. Whoa. Alrighty, I cannot do this with one hand. And there we go. It may not be pretty, but this is what needs to be done so that when you're plunging down with your plunger, the plunger won't get stuck on the bottom of the wash bin. All right, let's go to the next step. And now we have to prepare the wash bins. I have two blue ones. One of them, this one here, is gonna have a bunch of holes drilled in it, and this is gonna be the wash cycle. And this one is going to receive the clothes once they're ready to be rinsed. So now I just have to drill some holes in this bucket. And there we go. I think that's sufficient. And just make sure that you go in and pull off all this other plastic, in case you have something that might be snaggable. Uh, this is kind of hard to do. I may get some sandpaper and kind of sand this down. Um, yeah, so make sure you get all those little extra pieces of plastic out, and then you are almost ready to start washing clothes. Yay! All right, I think that is sufficient enough. I think we're ready to put this into our actual wash bin. All righty, now let's get some clothes and some water and start washing going to start adding laundry. I've got a few pieces in already, some underwear, a bra, some yoga pants, a t-shirt, a camisole, Ooh, gray hairs, a pair of jeans. <laughs> Am I going to be able to get them all done? And a lab coat. Hmm, I wonder if that's too much. You know what, I think that's too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out these jeans and I can wash them later. Um, we'll see once we get the water in. I'm gonna go ahead and pour my detergent over the top. You probably don't need this much, but this is a cheap detergent, so we're gonna use a whole cap full. All right, next, we're gonna add the water. I've got a gallon of water here. I'm thinking a gallon is gonna be enough. Let's just see here. We don't need it to you know, go all the way up to the top because, yeah, let's add some more. We don't want it to, when we're agitating it, we don't want it to come over, way over the top. Okay, that's a gallon. Let's see how that is. All right, we are gonna need some more water. So, lucky for us, I have some more on hand. This might take like two gallons, I think. There we go. I think we can add a little bit more. I actually could have added those, those jeans back in, but I'm not going to. This is just gonna be demonstration purposes. There we go. I think that's plenty of water. Alrighty, now I just need to get my trusty agitator and put this on the ground and we'll start agitating. Here we go, and we are gonna start plunging and agitating to our heart's content. All right, oh, this is actually very therapeutic. If you keep plunging in one place, it kind of ends up turning the laundry over. So that's kind of a good feature. Alrighty, so I'm going to just keep doing this for, I don't know how long. And also, I've got a brush here, so I'm going to go through the t-shirt and the lab coat, make sure there's no spots on it, and Scrub away if I need to. But for now, let's just agitate this 
you know what out of this. And I wonder how long it's going to take until I feel like it's coming. Hmm. I guess until the time in which I get tired. now it's time to let these clothes drain look at that water oh my goodness I didn't know that I was that dirty my goodness so um, these flexible bins and I did select the flexible bins as opposed to like a hard bucket or something for the very reason that you see I wanted to be able to get it to flex in a position that would be functional and that would fit with my van so all I've done is I've taken a bungee and I've suspended it from something that could hold its weight. You'll just have to decide what to suspend yours from in your van. And it is now draining and it's just slowly dripping now. I'm going to wait till it almost goes to a stop and then I'm going to dump this into my gray water tank. And also why I chose this kind of really small compact design is because I wanted to be able to do this completely 100% inside the van. And I can. Um, I did the agitation outside and I agitated the clothes for about 15 minutes, but I can easily do them right here. Oh, I'm going to use that pole for another project. Um, I'll just put a, a plastic tarp down so that I don't get water all over the place because I get kind of spastic when I'm doing the plunging thing. It's actually quite therapeutic. But um, anyhow, so I'm going to wait till this stops dripping almost completely. I'm going to empty that into my um, gray water tank. And then I'm going to kind of squeeze the clothes out a little bit better. And then we'll start the rinsing process. So far, this seems to be working really super good. All right, be back in a bit. Okay, I've emptied that dirty gray water into my gray tank and it stopped dripping. So now I'm going to disconnect it from the bungee and put it in this white tub and pour fresh, clean water over the top of it. All right, I've got my water. I'm going to pour the rest of this gallon in there. I don't know how much we're going to need. So far, we've used about a gallon and a half. And. I absolutely should have put a plastic tarp down, but that's okay. That's all right. And I think that's about enough. About a gallon and a half of water. I probably could get by on less, but this will be fine. And, as you guessed it, I'm going to use this rinsed off plunger again. Also, I throw a fabric softener sheet into the rinse cycle as I'm doing my plunging so that the fabric softener can kind of infuse. I mean, you could use liquid fabric softener as well. I just like to have my clothes a little bit soft. And just like before, I have this suspended once again to drain out into the white tub this time. The water's still pretty gray, um, which kind of troubles me a little bit, so I'll probably go ahead and rinse these again. Um, but yeah, so, so far it's going pretty good and I let the wash cycle just drain on its own. I didn't squeeze it out or anything and it actually got quite a bit of water out just by letting it hang via gravity and just kind of maybe squeezing the sides of the bucket a little bit. Say that just works so good. You couldn't do that with a hard sided bucket. So we're going to let that drain a little bit more and um, I don't know if I'll do this on camera but I'll go ahead and rinse these again and then we'll do the next step. The next step involves this clothesline and these clothespins. I need to find a place in the van where I can hang these up. 
All right, I've just kind of looped it through an existing zip tie that I used for God knows what. I use zip ties for so many things. And I've just kind of done it diagonally across my van. Now, I just need to wait until these clothes are completely done draining. And I'm going to squeeze them out pretty good, too, so that there won't be a lot of drippage on my floor. Oh, my God, this place is a mess. Um, so they're going to be pretty much dry by the time I put them out there. Well, not dry, just, just damp, but not dripping. And um, you know what? Other times I have just put them on hangers and I've hung them from hooks. I've also hung clothes from here, but I'm trying to be stealthy about it today because I don't want anybody to see me. Um, but you could do that. Just put them on hangers and hang them, you know, over things. But I wanted to see what it would be like to let them hang up in the middle of my van, which is probably going to be totally inconvenient. But you know what? Um, if it works and if you can maintain stealth while you're doing it, I say go for it. I've got the clothes hanging. I'm not going to show you the, the, the undies. You don't need to see those. But um, you know what? It's raining outside today. So it's going to take forever for these clothes to dry even, you know, inside the van. I'm going to I'm gonna turn on some of my fans and, and let the fans do their work too. But um, you know what? The clothes came out smelling clean. There weren't any spots on them. Um, I didn't even need to use the brush. So you know what? I would say that this little experiment with my little wash bin washing machine has been a success and I will absolutely use this again if I need to like just you know wash up a couple of things just to get me through the day until I can you know get to the get to the laundry mat or whatever so yeah let's give this a big man hand yes thumbs up in case you were wondering, my super mini, super awesome wash machine came in at $8 plus tax. It was under 10 bucks. And also, I needed to point out the plate. Why did I get the plate? I got the plate in case I wanted to soak things. And so the idea is that you'd put the clothes in the bottom and you would put the detergent in them, kind of jostle them around a little bit, put the plate on top and push it down a little bit so they all stay under the fluid and let them soak. You can put in a load of laundry, put in your water, your detergent, put the plate on top, drive around all day if you want to and let the clothes soak. And then when you get to a stopping place, put them through the agitation process and the rinsing process, then you can hang them up to dry and you've got clean clothes right on. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and y'all have a good one.